Good morning. I feel like mashed up buttholes after yesterday's bike ride, but in a, I don't know, in a good way. We're here back at Ashton's and I gotta I gotta restock the fridge. So the fridge has been holding up great. I got all of our regular food, rice, everything there. I fill this new order of steak lice and meats that came in for us. Two burly boy ribeyes for sure coming. All the ground meat they sent. This ground meat has been so rad for just mixing with rice and it can It's an easy way to do it. Then we'll fill it with other goodies, sausages. The other nice thing about these like being in the fridge, like having frozen meat in the fridge, keeps the fridge colder and allows it to use less energy, which isn't a major issue, but still a thing. Food-wise, we've been kicking ass. So we're gonna make it, we got like a four hour drive south to Hood River area, and then we're gonna go for a hike. So oh, apparently it's time for me to change Hate Brand's slogan from Spread Hate Always Party to... Ray Sale and Eat Cornbread, and then the smaller version. Is this a brand people are into? I will check on that right now. While fact checker Bond dials that in, I'm into it. Probably not a thing we want to be a part of. Is it uh? Based on the number of uh, Confederate flags I've seen. Oh, nice. It's a it's a Southern thing. That doesn't make sense. That makes zero sense. I mean, I am for cornbread aficionados. I love cornbread. Why do we have to blame cornbread in this? So wait, it's real hot out. We're making our way further south. We're still hour 45 from camp, and I think camp will be at a much higher elevation, so we'll see how much things trickle down by the time we get off of this hike. Because uh, camping outside in this weather, fuck that. We are 5,000 miles into the trip. 5K, baby. That's what they say. How many miles do you think the whole trip will be? Comment below. I won't pick anyone, <laughs> but you can take a shot at it. So we're making our way up the mountain now to the Sleeping Beauty hike is what we're going on. Seems to be a very, very fucking vertical 2.4 mile out and back. So 1.2 miles up, it's really not that bad. Following one of the slowest fucking humans I've ever seen drive a truck up a dirt road. Why did you buy a truck? Why did you buy a four wheel drive? Nothing I would fucking hate to hear more than somebody say like, Oh, I don't want to scratch my truck. It's a truck. You bought a fucking truck. Buff. It's just like, adventures? Uh, some workshop. adventures, some work. We're going to give the Sleeping Beauty Trail a go. Shouldn't be too bad. Easy work. All right, so this trail is like 1,300 feet elevation gain. Got a little over a mile. A mile and a quarter. So. Pretty. Pretty good breathing. Yeah. The river's gonna feel right nice. Plus tonight. we got Pete and Jess with us. Hey. That's Bonnie's family. It's Pete and Jess. They're currently them. blurry in the background. <laughs> it's uh, still going up, if you were wondering. <laughs> ah, still pointing up. It's going up, 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 yeah. up. It's yeah, going okay. pretty good. It's not going very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not recovered from yesterday's effort on the bike. <laughs> but, it's okay. If I can grind it out, not trying to fucking win. Just kick a little ass every day. My body hurts like I'm sore, not like my bones are fucked up. So that's cool. That's incorrect. That's Mount Adams, there's them. We're not on the top yet. <laughs> it goes round and round. It's a dizzying day. I would give love to get away. It's getting real dark in here. <sighs> you did it. We summited a mountain. Yay. Almost 5,000 feet. Woohoo! Now down, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Hang out for a bit.
we made it to camp. It's getting dark rapidly, but I've just uh, cleaned up in the river. We have food cooked. Bringo's back from her river bath. A lady of luxury you are. This is just like right at the backside of our campsite. Pretty sick. So deep enough to get in, maybe like uh, knee deep or something like that. So another fucking rad day. Tomorrow we are heading to Beaverton and I'm going to train and do a gym tour with uh, Julian Smith. Stoked on that. Super nice dude. See what he's about and then we've got an airbnb for a few nights kind of catch up on laundry and things like that it just makes life a bit easier on the road staying on top of those things i'm gonna eat food we call it a fucking night i'm gassed good morning kind of a quick exit this morning hit the road because i'm not 100 sure how far it is from here to Beaverton. This is a great campsite. So this is like Trout Creek campsite in uh, Gifford Pinnock. I think I was saying that incorrectly. Today is going to train a little bit with Julian Smith. He is just honestly one of the most fucking handsome men I've ever seen. I'm going to go try to learn the ways of handsomeness. If Julian could teach me to be handsome, that's what we're going to go with. I mean, yeah, I'd say most people I've ever been confused with, Julian Smith is uh, top of the list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, ah, Julian's let himself go, <laughs> see? Julian, no, it's me, Matt. I'm Julian's before photo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's such a good idea. We have time to get breakfast. So we're going to pop into this Riverside Grill here in Hood River. Morning parking lot disco. That's what we do to wait on Brent. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, breakfast is a success. Now we're off. Headed to go see Julian. Check out what the gym's about. Stoked, man. Totally different thing. Like the bodybuilding side of stuff is still so fucking strange and foreign to me. That's fun to see. It's fun to see how these guys do it different. And fucking dudes train their ass off and they're super, super consistent. I think there's a lot that strength athletes could take from bodybuilders and well vice versa back to arm race gym while brant loads up his truck business I'm gonna make some muscles see what the big boy julian's up to today Definitely, definitely makes me stoked to like get our own setup, wherever that's gonna end up. But gym's really, really rad. Clayton, what is it? Popper. Dude, this hack squat machine. Unreal, unreal. Julie, I've been told I have a skewed perception on something. Overhead pressing. Yeah. Most people should be able to overhead press their body weight. I would believe so. Yeah. So you know what? The guy that I train with, uh, Jesse Marvin, that's always something that he brings up. Straight pressing. He goes, he goes, I always want to be able to get that one rep high. He goes, it doesn't, I'm not repping or whatever, but he always talks about being uh, strong as possible I'm, with that. I'm, I'm 15 pounds off. So, 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 so you don't have it. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying you can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I hear is you can't. It's not gonna work out. Yeah. It seems I like a thing guys can do. I feel like she's got this. Um, maybe you two can get together. I can probably. Well, let me think about how much I weigh right now. Probably can't do it. See you, dude. Oh, shit. No, she got me. <laughs> what do you weigh right now? You're like 200. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do that for sure. Okay. I think I can strip yeah. press 240. Uh, I think I can do it. I'll figure it out shortly. I believe, I believe normal people can overhead press their body weight. And I've been making fun of Brant Bonnie because they can't. Julian says he can, so it makes sense. And now, 
I'm not 100% sure if I can. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure that I can to make sure my shit talking is totally valid. Or does Bonnie get to make fun of me for the rest of my life? Seems fair. It seems fair, all right. 185, let's see how this goes. That's what you get. We're not gonna do anything involving lower body. Most people can deadlift almost their body weight. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. I can almost deadlift my body weight for one. Our skills are different. <laughs> Shit. Bringo here is gonna try to overpress her body weight so that I can't make fun of her. Let's see what she gets. Where are we starting? Starting at 95. All right. On the board. This is uh, 105. 105 kilos. Cheater. Performance enhancing powders. PEPs. PEC. Performance enhancing shots. Performance enhancing powders like cocaine. <laughs> yeah! Easy work. 105. So this will be tying a personal record at 115 pounds. However, it still puts her much pounds, below body her body weight. Come on. Yep. Ah, come on. Just wait a second. Give me one more time. I'll tell me that this is for this. Brant, when you're editing that clip, as she goes to press and it doesn't make it, bring in a bunch of boo, oh, like a crowd of boos. And when I did it successfully, like confetti. And the crowd goes wild. They go, they're very excited. Yay. Yay. Excited people. She'll try again though. I'll try again. Give me a little bit more time. If she fails again, double mm. booze. Not today. Not today. Second rep went about the same. Got about here. I think one more. I deadlifted it before this, guys. Yeah, she deadlifted it, so I'm it fatigued her shoulders. Talk shit to your partner, step one. <laughs> Definitely something I recommend as relationship advice. Compete against your partner, make fun of each other constantly, and also set up the challenges in your favor drastically. And then really talk shit. Like, which one of us has the most fake joints? I win again. Which one of us has driven a Tundra further? I won. <laughs> Who's ridden more miles on this trip on their bike? Me again. Who has ordered desserts more? Also this guy. I'm winning so much on this trip. Basically undefeated. What have you won at? I got these. What about mobile toots? And I've been, yeah, I win for the tooting game. It's just like. Internet, this no, little blonde creature is so out. full of small farts. They're like this. All right, Red Podcast wrapped up the gym tour. Gonna grab some food. That's next. Food and kind of hang out. Extremely successful day. Done hanging out at Julian's. We're gonna run back to the Airbnb and get some work done. Really, really good people. So I didn't film at their house because what's well, their house and they don't have a YouTube channel. So I don't share those type of things unless, you know, they're already kind of doing it. So that's that. They're awesome. All right, made it to the Airbnb. Here for the next couple of nights. Got a kitchen. It's got a map of the world. Got a bunch of posters from what looks like Urban Outfitters, and it's warm. I don't do air conditioning up here, it's just fucking stupid. Throw in some people, always have air conditioning. Look at this thing. That helps, I suppose. Got a lot done though. Got shit planned for October's drops. Got to train, training session was really fucking rad. Figured out I can overhead press my body weight still, four times. Can, is that not normal? What's the deal with that? All right. And a uh, fucking good day. Good day. Spread hate. Always fun. Side note, I'm about halfway through Eurovision. And for everyone who recommended that, it's terrible. It's a terrible film. 
recommended it terribly. And I'm so goddamn high right now, and it's still bad. Eurovision. Two big thumbs down. Good night.